Oh, hey, Maxwell, how's it going, buddy? I don't really need your whole life story here. Whoa! Oh, it looked like he was blasting off. <laughs> well, you might notice there's something a little different about this session of Don't Starve. And it's that Wilson got a new haircut. And it's, like, really cool and innovative, too. Um... Unfortunately, we're just never going to see it because I'm in this first person mode, so sorry about that. But yeah, this is Pickle's first person mod, which you can find on the Steam Workshop if you are curious. And what's nice is that you can kind of switch back and forth between views if you'd like, if you don't want to get stuck with the first person one. Uh, but, you know, without this, I never would have been able to peep on all those dogs over there. So that's kind of neat. To craft stuff and access your inventory, you just hold down Q and you can kind of mouse over stuff as needed. And to scroll through your inventory, you just use the mouse wheel. And you can see that there's, um, you just use E and R, so E will, uh, if it's like food, you can eat it or it'll examine. And then R just like selects the item for use. So pretty, pretty standard stuff, pretty straightforward. Sensitivity seems a little wonky. Uh, I wasn't really seeing an option for this in the pause menu, but I might have just like missed it elsewhere. So hopefully, if, if it's not already out, um, <laughs> it's something you can turn down a, a little bit, but I uh, will do my best not to, ooh, not to make things too crazy here. With these disembodied hands, it's more like a Rayman simulator. And I want to play Don't Star Pickles, what the heck? That guy's always trying to pull a fast one on me. What seemed like it might be the trickiest thing for this mod is the actual combat. Uh, I was getting into a fight with a clockwork rook earlier for a test run of it. And it uh, you just have to get in kind of unnervingly close <laughs> to hit things, so I, w I was kind of figuring I might try and take on like a giant or something, uh, but we'll see how well that actually goes. Alrighty, and nighttime is almost upon us. I've been kind of curious to see what that's going to look like, so what better place to be for that than inside a creepy occult mushroom circle? Oop, and here we go. Oop, oops. <laughs> Ooh, hurry, hurry. Just trying to manage the system. All right, Ooh, and they're all gone. Were they ever really there at all? So now does does this become a horror game? Something gonna jump out at me, or am I supposed to find those missing Slender Man pages? Oh no! Oh, hello. I think this has gone from horror game to horror movie. Where I'm some axe-wielding murderer. Oh gosh. Those X's for eyes. What have I done? Oh, that bird's gonna rat me out! That's what they say, you know. Birds of a feather flock together. You can't trust them. Ooh, and the flies scatter. That's pretty neat. Hmm, I don't really know how to judge this mod so far, because on the one hand, the flies disperse, which is pretty great. But on the other, it's it's much more visceral in seeing the light leave a turkey's eyes. So it's that's a little less than ideal. And the sky turns a sickening green. Even the world is disgusted at me for what I've done. Anyway, the poop's pretty cool. Ten out of ten. Ooh, the pig king. While a thousand pigs are screaming about home, let's go pay him a visit. Ew, he... Oh, whoa. <laughs> so this is what happens when I look up. Get nice and nice and close. Look right up at, at the nose hairs. And I can't take a peek at the backside of that loincloth, unfortunately. Missed opportunity, Pickles. Missed opportunity. Ooh. Yeesh. News of turkey crime spreads fast, I guess. Oh, 
Oh, thank you. Oh, you son of a... Every time. So yeah, this mod can be used with Shipwrecked as well. Um, it's available for all the separate DLCs, so uh, Shipwrecked here, and then regular Don't Starve and Reign of Giants. And I've, I've kind of been most looking forward to giving it a whirl on Shipwrecked. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll try not to get too bogged down with collecting stuff, because I've been thinking that taking to the high seas should be pretty fun. Time to hang ten through my eyes, bro. Wish I could zoom out just a little bit. Uh, surf to surfboard? Sure. Whatever you say. Apologies if you're the sort of person who can't really handle videos <laughs> in first person. Uh, my mom was definitely like that growing up, and she just could not watch me play, uh, like, old first-person shooters on the computer. She'd be like, oh, stop it, dude. Stop spitting the camera. It's like, I, mom, I'm just going through this maze here. I don't know what to tell you. So if this video is making you and or your mom sick, maybe turn it off now. <laughs> So I felt I definitely had to show this off. It's a monkey with a hat! That's, um, that's not part of the mod. I just feel like I need to share him and all his glory with you. I think he just stole it from this guy here. But like, it's not like he was using it. Just glad he still left me with a chance for some lootables. Oh, that's not that far. All right. And just because I hate myself, sure, I'll make it so that I respawn on this monkey island if I die. Why not? Oh, and a mandrake? I can pick him in just a sec. That'll be a thrilling part of the entourage to get. Oh, and an another mandrake. Yeah, the more the merry. Oh, yeah. All right. Here we go. Yep. Yep, thanks for screaming. Don't let me, uh, don't, don't mind me or anything. It's not like I'm trying to get the treasure over there. Yeah, you know what? Some more screams would be good right about now. Here we go. Another cloying creature that doesn't give me any personal space. Oh god, we're such a boy. <laughs> Get me out of there. Woof. Okay, just wanted to kill one of them so I can do some first person combat now. Or not. Alright. <laughs> I I stand corrected. Oh, all right, we're back. <laughs> My hits are, are so powerful that I, I stopped time, I guess. I really am a force to be reckoned with. Oh, oh no. Okay. <laughs> all right. A little bit of a snag there, but that wasn't so bad. Oh no. <laughs> the crab's a time wizard too. What are the odds? Huh? Oh, we're back? What year is it? Oh, let's maybe stick to the top-down view for a little bit, shall we? Just another little bug that I've been noticing uh, that I just wanted to point out is sometimes things will turn invisible. And this is still like a, a super impressive mod, and it's it's pretty new, so I don't mean to sound too catty or anything. Just needed to um, put some rocks down in front of things to make sure I don't lose them forever. <laughs> a point in this mod's favor is that in first person mode, I get an incredibly heightened slammable soda experience. I mean, just look at how crisp and refreshing that must be. 
Uh, also kind of ghostly. Oh, whew, there we go. Back into the corporeal realm. Alright, gonna put down another one. I don't really know what makes it go invisible, but... Well, there we go. Oh, and there we go. <laughs> well, this calls for another rock. Watch your step, everyone. Just a little moonlight surf while I wait for my boffin buddies to show up. Do you know how it is? Hey, little guy. <laughs> oh, he loves it. And I love him. And don't worry, little guy. I didn't forget about you. Oh, so cute. Hands down the best addition to this game. <laughs> and I th think there... There's like another Balfin Palace around here somewhere, but I'm just gonna snack on these last limpets. Oh, and Finn and Shoal? Or no, Finn and Babel. Oh, right, Shoal is like that school of fish or whatever. Well, Finn and Babel, good to have you on board. There's a dogfish I might have you guys take out for me, but, uh... Eh, but in the meantime, let's just kind of surf and swim around. E, 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 indeed. Oh. Yeah, whatever. Let's just... Don't worry about that guy. Ooh! I saw my own skeleton. I, d I don't think that's good. Just so I don't keep getting zapped, let's do top down for this. Oop, almost, you almost got him. There you go. <laughs> Good job, guys. I'm no force to be reckoned with. I feel like Finn and Babel here are a couple of murder machines. Yeah, give them hell. Okay, here we go. It's Kraken time! I hope. <laughs> I've, uh, I'm pretty well equipped, I'd say. I've got my encrusted boat and a boat cannon. I've got four boat repair kits and a backup trawl net, so... Just a matter of rowing back and forth in this tiny little patch of water for a while. Gripping stuff. I think I'll probably start out with the regular view for a little bit just to get my bearings, but after that... I'll definitely be doing some first-person kraken hunting. Oh, Finn! Babble! You're back! <laughs> I, um, figured I'd, like, save and quit at the start of the new day, just since my first trawl net is about to be kaput, and it's like, well, you know, if this backup one doesn't uh, really work out. I want to be able to maybe just kind of like reload it or something. Just start fresh. Oh, hey, okay. And it turned out to not really be needed. <laughs> oh no, Finn and Babel. Um, I don't know if you're vulnerable here, but I'm so sorry to have roped you into this. But I'm stuck. Oh, give me a push. Okay, okay, okay. Took a heck ton of damage just now, but I, sh I should be fine. <laughs> and let's see. Alright, how does this work? Did I get him? Oh, I got him. Oh no! And I got one of the Balfins! Which one? Oh no, I don't know which one I got. Oh, and he just ate one of- Oh, he just ate his brother! Oh, Babel, alright, you're okay. Finn! I also collected his fin. But yeah, Babel totally just chowed down on one of Finn's chunks. <laughs> Whatever keeps you going, I guess. Oh, this is... This is re a, a real mess. <laughs> but it seems like hitting them with... Uh, hitting the Kraken with the... Boat Cannon isn't uh, quite as tough as I thought it would be. Yeah, there we go. So there should be, I think, um, just one or two 
more sets of this. You just have to nail them. I've, I've taken them out with the boat cannon before. This is kind of my go-to strategy now. And uh, it's like three hits of the cannon, and then he submerges and pops up somewhere else. And he... I guess I'll find out if this is the last time he does that. But if it isn't uh, three times you need to hit him, that's going to be probably four, I think. One boat cannon should definitely do the trick. Oh, and Finn, or Babel, please be careful. <laughs> oh, alright, one more. I'm pretty sure, I, I hope, it's just one more. 33% <laughs> left, so I think this should be okay. Hey, you missed, pal. I'm kind of surprised that the Bolfins uh, have been okay through all this, and, and I guess that the Kraken can't actually hurt them. Maybe if I were to, like, attack him directly instead of shooting him in a cannon like this. Then, like, they'd, they'd go in for the kill and then they'd be vulnerable. Is it done? Yes! And Babel survived! Hooray! Interesting that he dropped the key, though, because I have, um... already, like, used the key on Woodleg's cage before. Um, I, I do have, like, a video that I am planning on uploading where it's, like, a kind of a regular Kraken fight. Uh, so I'll, I'll be getting to that eventually, but, I've you know, I've already used the key, and I thought it was, like, once you... Oh, so tempting to just blast that seagull right now. Um, I thought it was, like, once you um, get it and, like, put it in the his cage, you don't really have to worry about it anymore. So I'm thinking that it might just be because this is like a modded world kind of thing. Unless they changed it, which I don't think they would do, because that would be just a little tough to make you get all three keys in one life. But thanks for all the support, Babble Buddy! And rest in peace, Finn. So to close things out, just thought I'd pay a little visit to some old friends. The volcano speaks more. <laughs> hey, um, did he survive that? Or I can't really tell. It's is there a monkey corpse in any of this wreckage? Oh, apparently not. I'll just have to try again. Welcome to your doom, monkey man. I think. I definitely got some butterflies in there, and like a bird. Oh, come on. You want something done right? Sometimes you gotta go back to basics. Oh, no. Oh, I'm never gonna catch him. Oh, man. Well, I hope you all are prepared for some 3D poop flinging. Whoa, look at those graphics. All right, well, special thanks to the mod creator Pickle Player for coming up with a really unique and interesting mod. This has been pretty neat. Uh, if you're able to develop some kind of monkey catcher mod in the next like hour or so, that'd be much appreciated. No pressure though. Otherwise, I'll just catch you all next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>